Hello, my name is Lance Zurich, and I'm the product manager for the Fisher Technic division here at Studica. Well, today I'm going to give you a brief overview of the new Fisher Technic STEM prep and STEM engineering sets. Now, these sets were designed to enable educators to provide students with a project-based, standards-focused curriculum program, which involves inquiry, design, and problem solving. The curriculum for each set was created especially for Fisher Technic by noted educator and STEM expert, Tom White. Well, as you're attending this webinar today, I assume that most of us know that the term STEM is an acronym, which stands for, of course, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Now, these days, it seems everywhere you turn, someone is talking about the importance of STEM education. And the reason for this is simple. Demand for scientists and engineers is expected to grow at a rate far exceeding any other occupational field, while at the same time, not nearly enough students are pursuing careers in these areas to, make, to meet this growing demand. Consider this. The United States Department of Commerce projected that in the decade 2018, STEM occupations would grow by 17%, compared with only 9.8% growth for all other occupations. Now, this graphic, which I found recently, has a different set of projections made for the period of 2010 to 2020, and they made even more dramatic predictions. Now, this may not sound or look so bad on the face of it, but to put it into a little bit better perspective, think about this fact quoted by J.D. Chesloff in his Education Week article from March 5th of 2013. Across the country, across all occupations, there are 3.6 people for every one job. In STEM fields, though, there is one person for every 1.9 jobs. Employers can't find the talent to fill these jobs, which is even more surprising considering the U.S. Census Bureau recently reported that the median salary for engineering majors was the highest of any profession. Now, as Cheslov goes on to state, supply is low and demand is high. There is a mismatch between projected future jobs requiring STEM skills and the projected supply of qualified workers to fill them. Now, this same need was voiced by the bipartisan Congressional STEM Education Caucus in their report on the importance of STEM education. They determined that STEM education is necessary because it helps to provide the scientists and engineers needed for future development, provides the future workforce with the skills required of a high-tech world, and it builds the foundation for scientifically literate voters and citizens. Now, as such, STEM education isn't just a matter of personal development to enable students to land the best paying jobs. It's also really a matter of national security. On every level, the world around us is changing at a dizzying pace. Now, at the risk of being redundant, STEM education helps us, both as individuals and as a nation, to understand and keep up with the rapid changes in technology, changes which in turn are altering the demands and scope of industry, and obviously, if we as a nation are to keep our stature and position on the world stage, this requires us to keep pace with the rapid development occurring around the globe, where countries such as China, India, or the UAE are making major investments in regard infrastructure. Now, most experts agree that one of the most effective methods for teaching them is by providing exercises where certain results will occur. And students have to discover why they occurred or where students have to find a way to achieve a specific outcome. Now, they'll do this through experimentation, research, through trial and error activity. In short, they find the answers to these questions through the use of hands-on, project-based learning. And that brings us to the focus of this webinar, which is the Fisher Technic STEM Prep and STEM Engineering Sets. Now, both of these sets have been designed to provide a guided, project-based learning experience complete with detailed curriculum using the unique Fisher Technic building system. Well, what is Fisher Technic? Well, to provide you with a bit of background, Fisher Technic is a flexible and innovative construction system. Now, unlike other popular constructions designed to simply stack, Fisher Technic was created with more of an engineering concept. The core building block is unique in that it allows attachment from all six sides, and thus it allows for limitless design possibilities. Many of the parts slide together to lock in place, and the hundreds of different parts available also help to address very specific design needs. 
Fischer Technik was created back in the 1960s by German inventor Art Fischer, known for countless innovations used in the construction and automotive industries. Now, if you've ever used a nylon plug in conjunction with a screw to help securely anchor a heavy object to a wall, similar to the one that you see Mr. Fischer holding to the left of your screen, well then, you have him to thank. Now, we would also like to mention that Fischer Technik was the very first construction set of all of them to offer students the ability to build and program their own robots using the original pre-Macintosh era Apple computers. Now, almost inception, Fisher Technic has been used by middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities around the globe to explore STEM-related concepts, things such as robotics, renewable energies, mechanics, pneumatics, and so on. Fisher Technic has also been used by numerous companies, including Porsche, Daimler Chrysler, and BMW, to name but a few, for industrial simulation and training purposes. Now, as such, more than being something students may only use for a year or two in their development, Fisher Technic is designed so that students can grow with it. Now, as students progress through their academic careers, they can also progress through the various levels of Fisher Technic education solutions which are available. The Fisher Technic STEM and STEM engineering set are the latest members of the Fisher Technic education family. STEM prep is designed for exploring essential aspects of technology with on physics, robotics, energy, and power. STEM engineering is designed to provide a comprehensive overview of robotics, coding, and automation systems. Now, each of these STEM focus sets is designed to provide all the materials you need, both physical and instructional, to enable teachers to offer a complete, daily STEM focused classroom experience. STEM prep contains over 75 academic hour curriculum material, and STEM engineering contains over 150 academic hours of curriculum material. Essentially, if you offer your students a STEM education class of, let's say, a single 50-minute period each day, five days a week, this would provide you with enough curriculum material with the STEM set for half a year and with the STEM engineering set for a complete academic year. The curriculum for each set comes in a handy PDF format. There is a curriculum PDF for the teacher to conduct the class, and also a separate PDF for, that can be shared with students so that everybody at X is a guide for the class activities and helps keep everyone on the same page. Now, to assist new users of the Fisher Technic system, the curriculum also includes a helpful tutorial section. This section provides guidance on identifying the many types of parts included, shows how these parts fit together, and walks users step by step through the building of a simple model. The STEM prep and STEM engineering sets are also designed to be somewhat dual function. Besides being designed so that educators can conduct a curriculum-centered, project-based STEM class, they also include full-color step-by-step assembly manuals in PDF form from various popular Fisher Technic education sets. Now, these assembly manuals can, of course, be used as a reference when students create their own original projects, as they'll be asked to do in the course of the curriculum. But they also allow you to build all the models shown in each manual with the parts included in each set. In fact, the STEM engineering set allows you to build all of the models found in Fisher Technic's three most popular robotics set. And the STEM prep set allows you to build all of the models found in nine different STEM education sets offered by Fisher Technic. We'll discuss the specifics more just a little bit later. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, the curriculum material found in the Fisher Technic STEM prep and STEM engineering sets was created by a man named Tom Wold. Tom is a new educator who's been involved in STEM since the 1970s, designing programs for educational institutions and for industry. In fact, as an expert in hardware and software integration, Tom was pivotal in introducing CAD, CAM, control systems, digital control, additive manufacturing, and other topics to the classroom. Currently, Tom is involved in the STEM-focused Southern Regional Education Board's Careers Program, which launched in 16 states in the fall of 2014 and continues to add programs and participants. Now, this is not the first time that, STEM, that Tom White has created curriculum around Fisher Technic. 
Now, besides also being the creator of the curriculum used in our elementary-focused Introduction to STEM series, Tom has incorporated Fisher Technic in several educational programs he has designed over the years. Tom believes that Fisher Technic is the ideal construction set for an engineering-based curriculum program, and he stated several reasons for this. First, the materials can be used and reused. Things that are built can be taken apart and reassembled into something completely different. This also makes it much more economical than, say, purchasing an expensive piece of equipment that might only be used for one or two experiments or projects and then put on a shelf until the next semester's class. It should also go without saying that Fisher Technic, with its wide assortment of very specific parts and components, offers almost limitless creative opportunities. Now, the curriculum for both the STEM prep and the STEM engineering sets has been designed to address some of the most widely recognized academic standards currently in place. This includes the college and career readiness standards for math, science, reading, and writing, NSES content standards, standards for technological literacy, ISTE standards, and the next generation science standards. Now, when Tom White put together the curriculum for these two sets, he had several goals in mind. First, based upon his observation that various types of teachers have different strong points. For example, he sees his own strong point as being the creation of, let's say, curriculum such as this, more so than conducting a lecture. He focused on creating a curriculum that would provide a of tools for all teachers to be successful in providing this class so that they could instead focus on the needs of the students. Materials have been included at the beginning to familiarize new users students with how the system works, and each section of the curriculum clearly spells out how things will be covered in that unit. Essentially, this will uh, be a turnkey solution to provide everything teachers need in one place. In short, the curriculum is designed to provide a clear roadmap for both the teachers and the students with the learning facilitated the extensive use of projects and problems to address. The goal was also to enable teachers to provide students with engaging curriculum-based projects that had an authentic objective in solving real-world problems and which contained embedded academics. Now, the detailed, the detailed each set, if followed, will allow educators what is essentially a standalone project-based STEM education class. Of course, as we mentioned before, each set also includes step-by-step -step instructions for building models on various topic-focused Fisher Technic STEM sets. Now, under this project-focused models model, students are told upfront what they will need to learn and understand. They're given a real-world scenario where they will take on the role of a professional working on a team which has been presented with a design challenge that they must devise a solution to, and then they're provided with different tools and pathways to achieve the goal. Among other things, this must perform research, and that's going to be research both in and outside of class, and they'll open the documentation process. They'll create a design brief, maintain a digital engineering journal, and so on. And they're also going to collect data. They're going to learn firsthand how data acquisition works, how to process data, how to put the data into graphs and other formats, and so on. Students are given a technical literacy task being driven by the project. Fulfilling this task will require them to gain the knowledge and the tools necessary to address it through research and exploration. Students will perform a series of specially designed enabling activities through which they will acquire the necessary science, math, and tech-based, excuse me, tech-based skills. They will devise solutions to their tasks and create prototypes using the advanced Fisher Technic modeling system. Students will then create and install the programs needed to control their prototypes. As we mentioned, they're going to document every step of the entire project and formally present their findings, including a demonstration of the prototype. At this point, it would probably be helpful if we begin to look at the sets themselves. We'll begin here with the Fisher Technic STEM prep. Now, the prep in the name, like STEM, is an acronym. It stands for Physics, Robotics, Energy, and Power, which are the subjects it's, uh, focused on the set. Now, each set 
is designed to be used by a team of two students at a time. The set contains over 2,100 parts and components, including the RoboL Pro LT software, a USB-powered control unit, an electronic module, a pullback motor, a solar motor, an excess motor, a mini motor, a compressor, two solar modules, a gold cap energy storage unit, an NTC resistor, a phototransistor, an LED, two rainbow LEDs, and all of which come packed in sturdy plastic Gratnell's storage box. Now, the project themes addressed in the STEM prep set include the following, sketching and documentation, simple machines, mechanical systems, structures, conversion and storage of energy, electronics, optics, digital communication, and programming control systems. And once again, this curriculum for the STEM prep will provide enough material to cover 75 plus academic hours. Now the STEM prep also includes step-by-step -step and tutorial instructions culled from nine individual Fisher Technic sets. The sets that the instructions come from include rock systems, Ecoenergy, which focuses on renewable energy, pneumatics, mechanics, physics one and physics two, electronics, optics and light, and robotics beginner. Now, aside from five models shown in the instructions for the Ecoenergy set, which incorporate the optional fuel cell add-on, which of course can be purchased separately if you choose, all of the other models shown in these nine instructions can be built with the parts found in this set. So as such, if you do not wish to use the curriculum for whatever reason, the STEM prep set would still be a convenient and affordable way to have the building and learning options from these nine sets in one box. Now next we're going to look at the STEM engineering set. Now this set, which can be used as a follow-up to STEM prep or can be used on its own, is designed to provide students with a comprehensive overview of robotics, coding, and automation systems. The set is designed for use by teams of two to possibly four students at a time. Now, the reason for this is because the projects are more involved than they are in the STEM prep curriculum, and it's easier to keep a higher number of students actively engaged with the research, the building, the programming, and so on that will be required. Now, this set contains 890 parts, and components including RoboPro software, the Robotics TXT controller, a Fisher Technic AccuSet, which is a rechargeable battery pack and charging unit, two encoder motors, a compressor, two phototransistors, two excess motors, a mini motor, six push button switches, a color sensor, an NTC resistor, two LEDs, two solenoid valves, a vacuum suction device, and once again, all these parts and many more all come packed in a sturdy plastic Gratnell storage box. The project themes in the curriculum for the STEM engineering set address the following areas. Sketching and documentation, which you also saw was touched on in the uh, STEM prep set. Basic electricity, programming, sensing and vision systems, mobile robotics, actuators, fundamentals of automation, and robotics. And there are also activities included to address the following areas that come up during the course of the curriculum, things such as sketching, schematics, Ohm's Law and Power, introduction to using RoboPro software, introduction to using the TXT controller, flowcharts, open loop programming, closed loop programming, digital branching, edge triggered versus level triggered, logic gates, combinational logic, analog branching, variables, sub-programs, data, sensors, digital switches, sensors, digital phototransistors, analog sensors, such as the NPC resistor, analog sensors, such as a color sensor, an introduction to the camera, using the camera to detect motion, color detection, creating a ball finder, which involves using the camera as a vision system on the robot, line tool, encoder motors, building the control panel, pneumatics, positions, recording positions, utilizing existing programs and some programs. And once again, the, the, excuse me, the curriculum included with this set should provide enough material to cover 150 plus academic hours. 
Now, this set also includes the step-by-step -step assembly instructions found in the following three Fisher Technic robotic sets. The Robotics Advanced set, which touches on both mobile and stationary robots. Robotics and Electro-Pneumatics, which touches on various uh, robots you might find used in industry. It allows you to build color sorting machines or even uh, things such as the pinball machine simulation. And robotics and industry, which gets involved with varying stacking and storage uh, type robots, robotic arms, things of that nature. So once again, if you want to work outside of the curriculum for whatever reason, this set will still contain all parts of the software, the controller, the power supply, etc. cetera, so that you can build any of these 22 models found in these three sets. Now at this point, excuse me, as we've touched upon what is covered by each set, I think it would be useful to show you just how the curriculum for the STEM prep and the STEM engineering is structured. Now, each unit of both the STEM prep and the STEM engineering curriculum contains a roadmap of sorts where each of the following elements are addressed. The purpose, the concepts, the student deliverables, assessment and evaluation, outline, the standards, an authentic project scenario, a daily teaching plan, supporting activities, and resources. Now, to put this better into context, text, let's look at the curriculum that accompanies the STEM engineering set. Now, again, while we will focus on material found only in this particular set, the structure of the units and how subjects are addressed is essentially the same for both sets. Now, what you'll see now are, are the table of contents for the STEM engineering set. The first thing I'd like to uh, note is that before we get into the specific units, and if you look closely, you'll see that just on this page alone, you'll see the units on sketching and documentation and basic electricity are mentioned. But there's also a section that will help any new users of the Fisher Technic system to quickly get up to speed. Again, the core building blocks in the Fisher Technic system are designed to attach from all six sides. And many other parts are designed for very specific purposes. And as this is really a different method than the uh, simple stacking construction of many other building sets, we've included a section right up front to increase your comfort with the system and also to allow you and your students to get the most from your building experience. For example, there's a section showing just how the parts fit together and discussing the pin and groove assembly method used. A section showing you how to identify the different parts from the core blocks more specialized parts. Uh, this will include things such as clip axles, girders, rivets, angle pieces, and more. There's a section that shows you a picture of every part contained in each kit, along with the name of the part, the part number, and the quantity included. And for those educators who are new to an approach such as this, there is a chapter discussing project-based STEM education. Now on that note, let's jump ahead to a sample unit to explore the structure that we discussed. This unit, as you will see, is focused on programming. The picture here is a graphic representation of the RoboPro software. Now as you will see in this close-up, it's designed to use icons that represent the different actions, which students arrange in a flowchart manner to create the program for each robotic model. Now, RoboPro is great because it allows students who may not have any prior experience with programming of this sort to quickly become comfortable with doing so. And at the same time, it helps to familiarize them with the core concepts used in all types of programming. Well, anyway, as you will see, right under the unit title, we have the purpose of the project. And this is the section that spells out for students the answer to the eternal question, well, why are we doing this? as well as, of course, what skills we hope to develop. Next, we have the concepts to be addressed in this unit. And these are the big ideas that students should learn from this project that will be useful and vital for them to understand and know, not only today, but to draw upon as they move forward in STEM fields of study and, we hope, of course, STEM-related careers. Now, this is followed by the outline. And here it's spelled out more specifically what will be covered in this unit. As this particular section, again, is focused on programming, you will see that we touch upon many areas such as methods for writing programs, and that includes flowcharts, word problems, etc. Program characteristics, this would be open or closed loop, so on. Branching, 
digital branching, analog, sub-programs, and so on. Next we enter the section where each of the specific standards to be met by this particular project unit are spelled out, which of course provides the educational justification for the project itself. Now, while we would of course love to have standards for every individual state and school district represented, such an approach is of course just not realistic or doable. But instead what we have done is selected the most universally accepted standards. First of course we have the College Career Readiness Math Standards, and these are followed by the reading standards for literacy and history and social studies, as well as the writing standards for literacy and history, social studies, science, and technical subjects. Next, we have science standards, and we begin with the NSES content standards for K-12, the standards for technological literacy, followed by the ISTE Technology Foundation standards for students, and the Next Generation Science Standards. After this is the assessment section, with links to both general course rubrics as well as rubrics related to this specific unit. Now after this we will have the essential question. This can be thought of as the major idea that can be explored in this unit. And in this case, the question put forth is, how can we make decisions electronically and remove the need for human intervention? Now, the student scenario for each unit will give the students an opportunity to explore essential question. Now this is in the form of a real world problem that they were given to solve an answer to where will I ever use this. Now in this particular case, students assume the role of a controller slash programmer and they're working in a programming company that specializes in, de in designing elevators and writing control packages for their clients. In this specific scenario, they and the other students in their group will be required to create an elevator that will perform certain functions such as how it will respond to a call button being pushed on different floors at the same time, which will go to first. Now, all of the client's requirements are spelled out in this section, and the students will be required to create a program to address these specific needs, create a prototype, and prepare a presentation for their fictional clients that includes a demonstration of the prototype and the program in action. Now, the daily plan, as it moves on, spells out the expectations as students work through the project and the student scenario. Each day of the plan acts as a guideline to spell out specifically what the students will look at today and what they need to accomplish. Now, you, see, you will see that as different concepts are addressed, students are provided with helpful links which will give them more information. For example, they will have links showing them what will be required in that design brief we talked about or an engineering notebook or how to install and use the RoboPro programming software. We're going to look at some of these links a little bit later. But once again, each day has a different task to be addressed, an, act, an activity to perform, or a question to answer. For example, if you look closely at the bottom of the page where it shows day seven, you'll see there's a discussion topic, and that's, how does my dishwasher know when the dishes are clean? Which, of course, your dishwasher doesn't know when they're clean but it's programmed a certain way to go through certain cycles for a specific period of time. And so here the teacher will lead a discussion where this idea can be explored. Now, other things covered in this unit, for example, will include how data is taken from a sensor and recorded, or how files can be taken from the RoboPro software and put into Excel to be worked on, and then put back again, working on robotic positioning, things like this. Now, this particular unit continues on for a period of 35 days total. Most units will, won't be quite this long, but in any case, as students work through the daily plan and on their answer to the student scenario, they're going to be required, as we said, to perform research. They will do trial and error experimentation while documenting the entire process. And of course, this means maintaining that design notebook and engineering journal. They have to design and build the working prototype using Fisher Technology and also create and deliver a presentation of this prototype in action. Again, each day builds on the one before it, and each activity is subsequently more complex. And along the way, this provides the information they're going to need to draw on to successfully complete that project. Now, this really helps to reinforce all the concepts for the students, and it ties everything together in an organic and a meaningful way. 
Now there are also various additional materials included at the end of each unit, and this will include things such as vocabulary words, uh, carefully selected web-based resources, Word documents, PDFs, and PowerPoints. Now once again, each unit of both the STEM prep and STEM engineering sets follows the same structures we've just seen, including the standards, the rubrics, the daily plan, resources, and so on. Now as we touched on before, there are also numerous links throughout the curriculum for more information on specific topics, which are also collected in one section at the end of the curriculum. For example, in the STEM engineering curriculum, we have act activity links for what is required in a design brief or in an engineering notebook, a section on schematic drawings, another on Ohm's Law and Power, how to program a robot to detect motion using the camera attachment, digital branching, working with flow charts, open and closed loop programs, combinational logic, working with RoboPro, robotic positioning, working with sensors, working with data, using, using vision systems, sub-programs, and so on. Now, there is also a section where all the rubrics are collected, and these are going to include, of course, both the general rubrics and the project theme rubrics. And finally, there is also, this is also followed by a section containing all of those step-by-step -step assembly instructions that we mentioned. Now once again, the STEM prep curriculum will share the same structure, just with a focus, of course, on different subject areas. Now, I'd like to share a few photos with you of one of the schools currently using the Fisher Technic STEM prep and STEM engineering sets. This particular school is Westfield Vocational Technical High School, and they're located in Westfield, Massachusetts. The program there is being conducted by Dave Roberts, who's in charge of the science department at Westfield. Now, what do you see in these pictures of the students as they address the first hands-on challenge presented in the curriculum for the STEM prep set? And that's the designing and building a prototype of a braking system, similar to what you would find on a racing bike. Students will work in small groups. Now again, with STEM prep, we really recommend two students per set, but with STEM engineering, you can of course expand this group to three or four. Now as you will see from the photos, while the students are all working on the same project, there is no one right way and no single solution for addressing the design challenge given in each unit's student scenario. Some of the students will, of course, design and build prototypes that work very smoothly and efficiently, and others will create models that need more, let's say, refinement. But the goal is, of course, to see how well the students synthesize all the concepts they've learned, and that working in small teams, how well they can use their creativity and their problem-solving skills to make something that will most effectively answer the criteria given in the scenario. Now, I would also like to mention another benefit of the STEM prep and STEM engineering sets, albeit a somewhat unintentional one. Now, a large segment of the students at Westfield Vocational Technical High School are ESL students, i.e. English as a second language, who originally came to the U.S. from Russia and the Ukraine. Now, in Massachusetts, teachers are required to take classes in ELL, English language learning, to help meet the needs of such students. Dave Roberts, who, as I mentioned, is the teacher in charge of the Fisher Technic STEM programs at Westfield, told us that he has attended three different ELL training classes, and all three highlighted project-based learning as an important learning tool specifically for ESL students. And this is because design is really sort of a universal language, and working through the curriculum in this hands-on fashion helps to not only teach the students essential STEM-related concepts, but also to aid in building their English language skills, because it helps to make the connection to actual processes and actions they can understand. Now again, what I've shared here is just a sample of some ways that the students can address this particular design challenge. As stated before, each subsequent unit will require more sophisticated designs, as each will build on what has come before. So, 
Just to summarize, each Fisher Technic STEM prep or STEM engineering set contains everything you need. All the parts, the software, all the assembly instructions, and complete day-by-day -day curriculum. And the, and the curriculum included, I should mention, is in each set is yours to use this year, next year, and hopefully for many years to come. There are no additional fees, there are no subscription charges, everything you need is included. And again, it's all reusable. You build a model, you perform the experiments, take it apart, and build another. Of course, if you ever did need any odd parts or replacement pieces, you can purchase those individually in whatever quantity you may choose or need directly from our website. And again, the Fisher Technic STEM prep and STEM engineering sets are designed to make it easy for educators from any background to offer a hands-on, project-based learning experience to their students. Once again, this is what experts agree is one of the most effective methods known for teaching STEM concepts. The STEM prep set comes with everything you see here. Over 2,100 parts and components, day-by-day project-based curriculum PDFs for both students and teachers, and over 75 academic hours of material, as well as step-by-step -step assembly manuals from nine popular Fisher Technic education sets. The pricing starts at just $7.99 per set, and of course, quantity pricing for classrooms is available upon request. And the STEM engineering set shown here includes 890 parts and components, including the programming software, the full-color touchscreen, TXT controller, sensors, motors, and more, as well as student and teacher curriculum PDFs featuring over 150 academic hours of material and full-color step-by-step assembly manuals from the three most popular Fisher Technic robotic sets. The pricing for this set starts at just $9.39 per set, and again, quantity pricing for classrooms is available upon request. So on that note, you may have some questions, so give me a second and I will unmute the line. The conference is now in conversation mode. All participants are now unmuted. Free to um, no, no, say them verbally or you can type them in. I'm, I'm more than diligent on my taxes. It's not your personal taxes, I care about business, specifically pertaining to the transfer of the And I'm just going to give it a second here. I'm not seeing anything come up. So I'm going to mute us again. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to attend our presentation this afternoon. Now, if you'd like to know more about either the Fisher Technic STEM prep or the STEM engineering set, if you'd like to request a quote, or if you'd like to speak to a dedicated educational representative, you can call us at the numbers you see on the screen right now. Now in the U.S., of course, our toll-free number is 888-561-7521, or if you're located in Canada, you can reach us at 800-561-7520. You can also find more information on these programs by visiting our special STEM education page on the Studica website. The address for that page is, as you see here, www.studica.com forward slash ft hyphen stem hyphen lab hyphen prep hyphen engineering. Or you can, of course, email us. The best address to reach us at is stemlab at studica.com. Now, once again, thank you very much for attending today, and I hope you all have a great afternoon. Take care.